So we're going to get into a one-legged squat, and there's different ways to do this, so I'll show you a couple different variations. Uh, you just really have to make sure that it's your legs doing the work, and you're not just pulling yourself up with your upper body. You're using the, the suspension trainer uh, for balance and to hold you because you don't have the strength to go ahead and say do a pistol squat or a single leg squat on your own, right? So we get back on the suspension trainer. Now, the simplest one is probably gonna be where you put the leg back behind you like so and do a single leg squat. That's almost like essentially a lunge where your foot's not touching the ground. Okay, that's gonna be the simplest variation. And then of course the most difficult variation would be more of a pistol squat, or we call it, or an ice skater squat, figure skater, where the foot is out the front. Okay, drop down, and we're gonna go down, and push through the glute and the thigh, okay? Again, you're gonna get a little bit of help from the arms. That's okay, that's kind of what it's there for to some degree. But we're not turning this into like a big row or curl pull up. Right? You're pushing your feet, or your foot in this case, through the floor, trying to do a squat, okay? Loading the thighs and the glutes, okay? So really pay attention to that, that you're choosing an angle that's appropriate. Obviously you can change the angle with suspension trainers to change difficulty and change the angle of your body. Am I leaning back quite a bit on a pistol? Am I straight up more? Am I bringing the knee underneath? Am I coming more forward, right? All those different position changes or what is going to allow the exercise or make the exercise more challenging or less challenging so that you can do some form of a one leg squat.